<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Beat the Butter. This is my first tutorial. So my ingredients are four eggs, the egg whites will go in later, uh, two lemon zest, one cup of lemon juice, one cup of milk, self-rising flour, and I put one box of cook and serve jello vanilla pudding in the self rising fry. We're gonna sift that before I start. Two sticks of butter, two cups of sugar. I have them separated for a reason. I have my vanilla flavor. Pinky and the lemon head cake. These are my two heifers. They're the one named the show. What is it called? Beat the butter. Okay, they don't wanna act like that. Beat the butter. And these are for my cakes when they go in the oven. I wrap them around the cake so you got even layers, so we get to that as well. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sift it in this. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side, it's been sifted. Now my yeah, next yeah. thing is to Here beat the butter. Beat the butter. Beat the butter. I have two room temperature yeah. butters. Okay. Unsalted. Well, That's one. Here's one. That's two. That's two. You gotta get all the butter. Get all the butter. Because we gotta beat what? Beat what? Beat the butter. Beat the butter. Beat, beat the, the butter. butter. Beat, beat the, the butter. butter. Now beating the butter is... Beat the butter is... Adding air to the butter so the cake can be fluffy. And scrape the sides. Beat the yeah. butter. Beat the butter. Beat the butter. Beat the butter. Okay. Okay, the next step is to add the sugar. Add the sugar. Two cups of sugar, but I'm going to add one cup. Now I'm going to add the second cup. Bye bye. Our next step is to add some vanilla. Say vanilla. 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 Where's the one teaspoon of vanilla flavor? Teaspoon. Now the next step is to add eggs. I'm eggs. adding the egg yolks. We're gonna try to add one egg at a time. We're adding some eggs. Add another Papa. egg. Papa! What? You trust me. I did? You okay. Oh, dang. Now we gotta scrape the sides. Now we're gonna stop this. Stop. We're gonna beat the egg whites. My mom told me this. She always separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Egg white. You see? It doesn't come out. Nice and fluffy. We're going to set this aside for now. That goes in last. Now we're going to uh, add flour and our milk. Flour first. Flour. You always have room temperature milk. Your milk should never be cold when you're going into a cake. Your milk, your butter, your eggs should always be room temperature. Two thirds of the flour. Then we add half the milk. You add more flour. Another two thirds. Then you add the rest of the milk. Make sure you get all the ingredients mixed together. Mix them together. Yep. And we're going to add the rest of the flour. And after doing that, we're going to add the lemon zest. Lemon. And we're going to add a half of the lemon juice. Now it's time to add the egg white. So we're going to fold the egg white in with this right here. 
Uh, Make sure we don't overwork our mix. So we're gonna turn and fold. Turn and fold. Okay, after all the egg white is in, okay, this okay. is to test to see if your batter is light. It's a technique that my mama taught me. It's a Carolina technique. Put it in the water. If it floats, that's the sign you have a nice, light, moist cake. Now it's time to put the cake batter in my already pre-made cake pan. Yeah. I have the oven set for 350 already. It's warming up. To make it, I just pat it on the side to get it nice and level. I just put my strips on the on the cakes so they can uh, um, when they rise they unrise evenly. You don't have no mounds on your cake. Cake strips I got I purchased them from Amazon. You gotta soak them in water before you put them in the oven so the material won't burn. It'll burn up your house. So make sure it's nice and soak. After the strips are on the case, we can put them in the oven. That's a one. That's a two. A three. Now we're gonna do it for about 35 to 40 minutes. When you know your cake is done and it's be separated from the cake pans, so leave the cake alone, let it do its thing. All right, after the cake is done, we're gonna start our strawberry reduction. The cakes are now out the oven. We have it's cool down for 15 minutes. So while it's cooling down, we're gonna start the strawberry reduction process. I have to clean my strawberry using salt and cold water. I have to go in the pan, put it on medium high heat. On medium high heat, you're gonna add a half a cup of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice. Strawberries start boiling, you gotta smash them. After you smash them, you gotta keep stirring them so they won't burn. This takes about 15 minutes, so it takes a while for this to get ready. Now, if we do the strawberry reduction, we're gonna start on the frosting. The cake should be nice and cooled down by then. This is gonna go in the refrigerator for another 15, 20 minutes, so you can't add hot stuff to a cold cake. Cakes are now cooled off. I have them on the cooling rack so they get nice and cool. Hey. Got the cooling racks from Amazon. And now we gotta wait for the strawberry reduction, then we can start the process of making the strawberry cream cheese frostings. Back to the strawberry reduction. It's almost there. How do you know where to get? Be ready. See this streak? It, it become less, less streaky. About five minutes, then it'll be ready. The strawberry reduction is ready. Now put it in the refrigerator for it to cool down before we continue making this cake. So this going into the uh, cream cheese frosting as well. Okay, the strawberry reduction has now been cooled off. Now it's time to make the cream cheese frosting. And this is going to need two sticks of butter, eight cups of confectionery sugar, a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, uh, one third cup of lemon juice, and a half a teaspoon of flavor. And we're going to also need eight ounces of cream cheese. The cream cheese has to be cold. That's going to make the frosting nice, thick, and so it can hold up to the cake. Okay, the butter has been beaten. Scrape the sides down some more. And our next step <laughs> is to add one at a time.
Now it's time to add a quarter cup of their strawberry reduction. Make a pink. Make pink. Make sure the bottom is all blended in. Oh. How do it taste, Loki? How do it taste? How it taste? Now we have to put this on the cake. Yum. My little Susie from Amazon has put frosting on the cake. First thing we have to do is put a little frosting at the bottom so the cake won't move around. My first one will be upside down. See how flat it is? It'll be upside down as well. Yeah, I'm going to turn it right side up. And there you have it. Pinky and the lemon head cake. Now let's see what the inside looks like. Voila. What you think guys? Yummy. So good. Moist. Yes, nice and moist. Taste the strawberry and lemon. The pinky and the lemon head cake. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>